morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beat Up Plans for Return to the Dul Kadir. Now, I don't know why, but these two provinces are currently independent, however, they are willing to become my vassals. Very good. So, bar that little weirdness, what are we going to do today? Well, actually, I was a thinking about taking over Kern. This duchy. Because that makes the borders more ugly? No, 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 that's not normally why I attack. I tend to like beautiful borders. But mainly because I want another holy site of the Christians. The more they fight among themselves, the better it is. Unfortunately, this duchy did turn to become part of Germany, and I know Germany is over there, but if we can get Kern away, do you know how much we can usurp? Now, the other one I was considering was Baden over here, which will diminish this island. But taking away Kuhn will just diminish all their overall power, and this duchy is rather weak at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up some men over here. Why am I going to gather up men? Well, there is a war of France, and France, unfortunately, is fighting for this in a holy war. Not smart. And his main army is over here. Doubly not smart. But... We are going to put our armies towards the German border and we're going to fight for it. That is the idea for this episode, so get ready for another little bit of war. Alright, they have accepted. Awesome. That means that you, good sir, Gorgo, you are part of the Duchy of uh, this lady. So, what I say? Transfer of Osage of Gorgol to you. Yes, Gorgol. There you go. Part again of the Empire, and you, good sir. You are part of the Duchy of this, which is part under him, so I'm just gonna directly transfer to Vazalaj as well. Congratulations. Now, did that destroy Khotan joining our Empire? No, because Khotan is already in it, just Mongolia might have flipped a little backwards. I think it did. 73... Yeah, I think it did, but still capable of quite entering our empire. Another war that, by the way, is going on is over here. Berlin has decided to attack the uh, Holy Order over here, and they're doing well. It's only the Teutonic Order against them. That is pretty good. For some reason, Poland is just not willing to aid. And I'm okay with that. Now, I do want to attack a little sooner than we are at the German borders, because I do want to fight these armies that are over here. Moreover, another thing is that Germany is in a lot of wars, and I think his armies are away, which is kind of awesome as well, which is why it is quite a, a juicy war target at the moment. Oh, look at them. They just combined. That's all the better for me. There's a peasant revolt. Don't really care. Don't really care about the peasant revolt. You... I'm going to declare the war upon you, and I'm going to do the holy war for Cologne. Sent. The world is angry once again. And for some reason, Aquita is not finding me. You are in the thing against me. That is weird. Mines. First call the troops over here, then. Uh, you are immediately angry with me, so let's attack you. French troops. If you could be so careful and to join to Cleaver. There we go. And of course, we're going to ask mainly the Pope with his big army already over here to join us. Of course he will honor his obligation to go to war. Good. Um, yeah, let's make it a little safer. And we have converted yet another county. By the way, off camera, we changed over this county. And look at it. If you look at Zoroastrian, where does it stand? Not over here. Why? Because it's one continuous region of Zoroastrianism. Fortunately, it doesn't write right over the other people's faces, but... We're doing well. I am converting at the moment Catholic provinces 
because Kev follows us and is currently at um, what I have considered the all time low because it is a 29.5%. That really is abysmal. Let's make use of that, shall we? Uh, there's an army over here that we are hostile to. But there are 20,000, and I'm not sure if the Lotharingian troops are going to fight me all of a sudden. Probably not, but still. Franz, how much? How well are you doing? 68% in your favor. Awesome. I kind of need to do something about it. Oh, I thought we had enough troop supply limit here. We had 34,000! Yo, not cool. Split them up in two. Mm, captured a guy. Kill the guy. Why does everything take 24 5 days? Why does everything have so little supply limit all of a sudden? What the hell? Can you go over there, please? Thank you. Oh. It's interesting that this is now of Lotharingia, so it's not against our war, and we're not losing war score for it. That's really funny. Are we hostile to... Yes, we are. So we definitely should do something about this as well. About the Teutonic Order. So that we can help with this war over here. And another son, Maziar. Alright. Still attrition. Holy heck, man! Take this. That's eleven percent in all uh, favors. Still eleven point two. Still attrition. And I can't attack because the castle is just. Wow. Ow, my troops! This high of an attrition, I just did not expect, to be very honest. Uh... Oh! Okay, uh, proves keeps down. That means we should be able to build just a wee bit more. Yep! I think we can complete our entire capital to be at maximum... Efficiency, so to be, be at maximum buildings for this time period. Um, so this is ours now. We should really... No, no, no. Go here. This is going to be a little harder to... Bop. <sighs> I'm gonna try this. I mean, they're not hostile to me. And they're the main army over here. Yeah, we're only fighting Burgundy. Awesome. Uh, how many more days? Twelve. If you could stay here for a moment, could that... Here, go for the assault now. Thank you. Uh, no, the other way around. There we go. 32% already on Germany. Now here with this army, Burgundy's on top, so I'm sure that Aquitaine will aid. But that is kind of good, because we want to destroy a little bit of Aquitaine's troops. Uh, go through Vermondo, then over here. Can you do it? Ah, eh, we'll cost the troops, but there is our additional forces. How far are we over here? Pretty far. It's
If these 15,000 lose, I'm okay with it. It's more for helping out Berlin than it's for, um, like, really winning a battle over there. There we go. Boop. We got 72% on Germany. 72% on Germany. Um, we can take the city. Sure we can. 88% on Germany. Yeah, this is going to be another holy war lost by... The people. Uh, let me see here. Is everybody going to go away? Oh! 21 of June. I'm willing to help. I'm going to focus on this for a moment. Hold on. I don't think they can get away anymore. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to wait with this uh, victory thing. It's good to know that you're really willing to surrender. So we're going to go... No. No, 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 no. We can go here. And you go... Hello. To there. Thank you. And Germany is already willing to surrender. That's pretty freaking awesome. How is France, uh, France doing in this war? 91% in their favor. They can still siege down a few more things. And this 20,000 is coming up. Okay. So the main focus is on this battle right now. Helping out Berlin. They should arrive sooner than my troops are going to be. Yeah, my troops will arrive two days later. But we can then aid in this battle and give them a huge boost in their war. Because I think this is most of the Teutonic Order over here. And then we're going to help France by attacking this stack. From three different angles. And even the Pope is going to come and aid us. That's just awesome. Um, gets guard dogs. Plot power defense. As I entered the gates, I was greeted by a large barking dog. My horse was frightened and started to rear. I was just about to draw my blade to slay the beast when I saw my spy master, Funny Boris, come running, shouting, Bad dog, this is our friend that we are supposed to protect. The dog then stopped barking and rolled around pleasantly on its back. Awesome. Don't know why we're suffering attrition and why the army all of a sudden is no more longer hostile. I guess... Aquatan Burgundy, but there was an army over here. Don't know. All for peace. He is willing to surrender. This battle should still be won, even if my troops all of a sudden become... Not hostile, I mean, we've just broken their morale like crazy already. And then it actually should definitely go to his war score. So, I think we just managed to help Berlin out a ton. Uh, I need to get rid of this attrition. Need to get rid of this, enforce the man's banish you, you because you're Persian and Zoroastrian, so you're a good man in general. You were just a little bit um, misguided about what is right and wrong in this world. Alright, and that is Kuhn. That's ours. And with that, uh, the moral authority of the Catholics is now 15%. I cannot wait for all the kings to go Waldenesian and uh, and what have you not, start fighting one another, and that will be even more entertaining and easy to take everything over then. Ah, oh, yes. Excellent. Excellent. And then we have at least also attacked Germany. I do want to get rid of this, this Christian island. Don't get me wrong. I want to get rid of this Christian island. But, the, the powers of being that to grab Kuhn was this easy, was something I could not pass up, to be honest. And the fact, I'm gonna make, give this to Berlin as well, so that Berlin is starting to get, like, starting to really grow. Berlin is more or less our northern area over here, with the exception of France, little island. Um, so... Berlin, you're not of a family member. You've kept always all the duchies, which is probably going to happen yet again, knowing you. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, to say the least. Did you not? You produce no air. 
you're getting a little older. And your daughter is married to another Berlin. But a really dumb Berlin. But this man is not dumb by a long shot. He definitely is. But... Grand Land title. We'll give him Kung. Perhaps then the king is willing to... Uh, by the way, I don't... Doesn't even need it. Uh, transfer Vazalich. I just realized I can do it in a different way. A smarter way. Why is she independent? Bertasai? Where does this... Where is this located? Berta... Sorry, slightly distracted, but... I do want to know what the hell that is. Why are you independent? You're supposed to be part of this king. For some reason, some vassals are becoming independent at, at times. So, a bit funky. Um, Mordva is now part of Movoka Bulgaria. Cool, that wasn't the case. Now it is. Zeldan has actually kept its entire borders. Minus one province, I know, I know, Tekka owns it, but <laughs> let Tekka have some fun. Not even fun, just have some land in general. I mean, they are our Zoroastrian brothers. They are our old culture. I've explained this enough by now. Uh, let me find some good men. You are particularly good, actually. Because you're content and you're mm, pretty good at stewardship and you have some marshal. There you go, you get Kleve. And... Well, you're an adventurer. You're a mistress. You seem to have some... ideas on how to rule. Go ahead. And then transfer Vazalic to... of these guys. And transfer Vazalic of this guy. Create the Duchy of Kern, or usurp it, can't, alright. We're just gonna leave it be with that then. And I need a momentary pause. Hello, Ares. My god of war has joined me. He recently went to the vet, and actually I really named this guy correctly. Not only does he hit everything with his paws, they needed three women to hold him down when they... Well, they clipped his toes. I well, not his toes, his toenails. Sorry, I should say that correctly. But uh, yeah, I needed that because, to be honest, I am just one man, and although I am one man, of course, a powerful man, to hold down the God of War is somewhat difficult. So I avoided doing that for myself for the first time because I used to do that with my own cat, my old cat, by myself. But ooh, eighty percent. He's starting to lose too many. Um, Liege, you're going to fight this guy. Ooh, no. He's going to retreat, and I'm going to retreat before I suffer attrition. And this is the son of my heir. He didn't turn out super good. Certainly because he's become envious. And he, But he is ambitious, that's pretty good. And envious... Uh, is that easy to get rid of? No, I don't think so. Hmm... But it's only one diplomacy hit and plus two in some... Uh, and of course you will marry your sister. I mean... Duh! So, let me just make sure that that does take place. Matrilineal marriage. Not gonna do a matrilineal, but... You... Not matrilineal. Voila! Betrothed to your brother. Twenty thousand into here. You took a river crossing. That's a little annoying. I hope you do win the battle, though. You really need to start uh, attacking some armies and winning battles. You really need to start sieging this a little faster. Now, you will win this battle, but I'm worried about that exactly what's happening right now. Holy heck! You just barely won that battle. Please support us, then, you nitwit! Oh my god. 
He just lost 20,000 men because he did an idiot job. Now he's gonna go in. That's too effing late, you idiot! Uh, you have 20, 12,000 though. Your army wasn't completely demolished, but... 41%. It was... He was much closer to winning it. Wait, did we just took land from Perm again? Yeah, we did. Perm is slowly being gobbled up by my... My uh, vassals. So how is everything going on here? After that battle, I think Berlin just did an amazing job. It's 44% only. Poland has joined now and has a smile on but... Yeah, we have a connection over there, of course. But still, how many troops do you have? 7,000. Not a lot right now. Berlin definitely has way more. Sieging faster and faster. I think this is good. Uh, I will... We'll ask the hunter to join my court. Uh, interestingly enough, he has beaten this army. But now there are unfortunately are 15,000 men over here that he should have... That he should... He was able to crush if he had... Joined up his forces and made this like... A guaranteed win, but... Also for some reason he just seems incapable of sieging this. Oh no, there it go. Making me look silly in the moment I'm saying but oh man, this fort is also pretty darn potent. Oh, he's taking down these Lotharingian troops. And don't forget that we are not too far off declaring war on Lotharingia ourselves. I wanna get ready for that, to be honest. So that we can help out France just a wee bit more. Because when is my peace treaty over with you? If I declare war right now, I can actually declare war on you right now. I missed that. Okay. Opportunity strikes. That is a direct declaration of war then on Lotharingia. What are we going to declare war for? There's this province, this province, which I think unfortunately are both two different duchies. They are. But I also could take down this piece. Oh, that would only be these two pieces still. Like, half of it is already sieged. I think that would be the best idea that we could uh, do. Because if we do that, then we have... I mean, then this island stays longer, but... He will become so weak, Lotharingia, that I hope that other... That even dukes of, the, of France will be willing to attack. So let's get in position to attack Lotharingia and help out France a wee little bit better. 60% in his favor. If we de all of this, I think we would be... There we go, he has de that already. 71% in his favor. Yeah, it's about the siege that he has over here that make Lotharingia have somewhat of a chance. He's going to attack, actually. Crap me. Okay. Declare a war in the Holy War for... Jurklein on Breda? No. The Jurklein on Swaben? Oh man, he even has that. Uh, Holy War for Tuscany? No, it's... Poitou, over here. Alright! We are again at war with the world. We are... Uh, if we were playing Civ 5 or Civ 6 or whatever you're not, we would get such a big warmonger penalty. It would be unreal. But we already have 82% in this war in general. Simply because of all the sieges that already are going on. So that in itself is just amazing. And I am, wow, fully aware that he is a scaredy cat. He's already willing to get peace. Now, if I get peace now, France won't get uh, his big bonus because all of his sieging... Oh, that's a revolt, apparently. Yeah, that's a Punjab revolt. Uh, all of his sieging over here will not be counted anymore, so I'm not willing to do that. 
Excellent! Convert yet another province. Because, you know, the Catholics now suddenly starting to realize that... God is... Just not defending them. Um... Uh, Quite willing, quite willing to... But I want to have this army being crushed by the combined force, and France is going to take the victory points for that. So, definitely. Okay. There we go. And if you can de-siege... Can de-siege France just a wee little bit? Like, take this area back? That would be so good. I mean, he's willing to start now already anyways. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're not, we're not gonna accept just yet. But the fact that he is already willing to surrender is really good for us. We cannot because we're not the siege leader. Now we are. Um. Commander. Go. You, by the way, you could be wondering, why have you never attacked this small little country over here? It's so easy. It's well, he is holding the anti-pope. And because of that, the Catholic faith is way more weakened than if I would actually attack him. I would strengthen the, the, the Catholics grip on their faith if I would actually attack that guy and eliminate him from the map. So that's why he's actually safeguarded, because he holds the anti-pope. And that is good for me. Alright. We de-siege this. Now the question is, France. Your war score is 95%. Who's all in this war? Too many people now. I'm going to make France... I'm going to let France win first. That means that we're going to have to send a few more troops here to immediately re-attack... Attack this and retake it once it gets available. But as soon as France can get this fort down... They will win. Alright, alright, we will pray by our mother, he will recover. I do want to try and get that all done in one episode, though, because... Oh, that, that would make for a good episode, in my opinion. Oh, job well done. I think that would make for an interesting episode, but perhaps I already have gone over the limit. I have to admit, I wasn't paying attention to the time exactly. But I had the feeling that the war with Germany went so easy that I'm okay with it for now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that war score. France. 95%. Come on, boys. Siege this down. Because I don't want to lose all kinds of armies to people all across the world that I cannot keep track of. That's basically it. Well, we got this province. France has won! I know that because we just dropped down to 73%, so offer peace. Now he's not willing to do it anymore. That's A-OK -okay by my standards. Why? Because we're definitely going to immediately siege this down. There we go. And I will attack over here. And then we can end the episode. It's almost done. The destruction of Lotharingia. Seventeen of June. Here, yeah, because France could now win as we safeguarded his back. I need to uh, help out France. It's uh, having a little bit of a revolution. What's this about? The six for elective monarchy. No, 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 no. It stays within the family. 
I know a family member is attacking, but it stays within the family, and he's willing to surrender, and with that, I end the episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.